Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, a welcome and for everyone returning, welcome back. So in today's video, we are working on a room in the basement. So this room has kind of become the catch all for extra seasonal decor, things that she is going to be selling end up in this room. We've got some craft projects in here as well as a whole lot of overflow laundry. So there is bins of blankets and sheets and things that she is getting rid of but wants to wash first. There is just anything and everything that you could think of in this room. I did also add in some of this rougher footage. This is a very small space to work in. Neither of us could really be in this room at the same time because of the amount of stuff in here and just the setup of the room currently. So trying to get anything out of this room while we were filming was quite the task. So this is a bit of the behind the scenes of setting this up and kind of how we have to maneuver through some of these spaces that we work in. So I am going to point out that of course I am still sick. This is the never ending cold that I have. So if I look terrible in this video, it's because I was having a bit of a rough day. I'm still trying to get my work done and function while still being slightly ill. So if anybody else is sick right now, good luck. I hope you are not having as rough of a time as I am. This room was a big task to take on. We kind of had a hard time figuring out where to start. So first thing that we decided to do was get out all of the laundry that needed to be washed and that didn't need to be in the space. And then we went through anything that was on the floor. So as you can see, there is a lot of shelving in this room. So that we decided to leave for our next filming day. But today was making space, getting some headway on the flooring and getting rid of what we could from this room. So like I mentioned, this room kind of just became the catch-all for everything that didn't have a home. There is a lot of stuff in here that is to be sold. She does have kind of a side business that she runs where she sells some of her vintage items that she has found over the years. So the whole plan for this room we decided was to go through, set up the shelves and sale area so that she could actually work in here and access what she needs needs to and then she also wants a spot for some wood projects of course she is a huge crafter we all know this so she needs a little bit more space down here and then as well she does have a lot of Christmas decor and Christmas craft projects that she's going to be pulling out soon and this is going to be their home in the off season. So as you all know she does have two craft rooms upstairs in her house that as I have said, are, we are going to be doing a couple run throughs before those rooms kind of get completely settled down. So for now, some of that stuff is going to be in here. We are trying to be very realistic on how much craft items that she has. Once we get through the whole house, kind of do a good run through of everything. Of course, we are going to be doing another run through, especially the craft supplies and craft areas. But the main focus in this room is going to be the sale kind of business room for her. So we really need to get this space under control. Once again, I'm very proud of her. She is working very hard. I know some people look at this room and are probably crazy overwhelmed, but we are gonna get through it. Thank you. 
a lot of the items that we went through this day were just kind of random boxes and containers of things that just ended up in this space to get them out of the way from another space. So there was not really any rhyme or reason to a lot of the items that were kind of taking up the floor space in this room. The shelves, she knows what is on them. We have to reorganize them again, kind of do a run through, see what we can get rid of. But going through the stuff on the floor was interesting. There was lots of random things that made no sense even being in this space, but we got through it. We went through all of the containers and then near the end of the video, I did kind of section them out and clean up the area. So as we go through this room, I kind of have the Christmas stuff set near the door and there is more behind the door. And then beside that, I have made an area for craft and woodworking supplies. And then the rest is kind of sale items. So I know a lot of you have been have been decluttering along with me and if you have good work keep it up I am sure you guys are just killing it in your own spaces this one hopefully can provide a lot of motivation for some of you I know that these can be a little overwhelming to watch at first but they will be so satisfying in the end to see the spaces transform so if you have a space in your house you're working on you're feeling discouraged maybe this can give you some motivation to get going again and just know that you will get through it take it one step at a time and don't be hard on yourself take your time decluttering can be quite the process and as I've mentioned before it's going to be a constant ongoing one I am going to apologize for the lighting in this room. Like I said, it is a very small space. There was very poor lighting, so I tried my best to get the best footage I could, but it's a little dark in spots. It's a little oddly bright in others. I tried to correct it, so hopefully you guys can bear with me through this video, and hopefully we find some solutions for the lighting for the next filming day. So here is the pile of laundry that came out of the room and then here is a pile of some of the extra bins we took out. The go pile as always, it's not as big as I would like it but for the next couple filming days I am sure this pile is going to be massive. Once again she does sell a lot of this so there was a lot of recycling that we did take out of this room. I did add that in there because again that takes up a lot of space. So here is the final look at the room at the end of day one. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of this room. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you guys next week.